I'm Nick Sanders. This is Video Deconstructed. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create proxies, how they're useful when you're doing remote editing, and how to avoid some of the problems that you can run into if you make them the wrong way. Okay, for this example project, we have a folder of clips that are all 4K files. Uh, we've got 10 clips we're going to use just, just as an example. And I've got them in a folder called original. We're going to make a folder for the proxy files. And let's say uh, we've been given a LUT by the DP. And let's say this project is for Nissan. I just grabbed this off the web. So let's bring our files into Premiere and take a look at the frame rate, which we see is all the clips are at 23,976. And then if we scroll over, we can see that yes, they are 4K files. So we're gonna go over into Media Encoder and we can take our original clips, drop them in there and this is defaulted to match source high bit rate, which is fine. And we're going to customize that to add a few extras on that you might be asked to do for a client. We have all of these selected. I'm going to click on just the top one. And what we're going to do to customize this a little bit is we're going to add some of these effects that you can put into the proxy. Select this LUT option. In our case, we received a LUT from the DP, so we're going to navigate to our folder where we have this LUT file, and we can apply that. And you can see that when I applied the LUT, the image changed, but it still says none here where I've chosen the LUT. I'm guessing that's a bug in Premiere Pro. I don't know, but it does work, and the LUT does get applied when you export your proxies. Let's say that we want to add the client's logo baked into the bottom corner, a little bug. You can choose a file and we can place that. Let's say we want it in the bottom corner. The next thing we're gonna add is this name overlay. And then let's say that we want to add the time code as well. So now each clip will have these baked in to the proxy file. So what we're going to do is go back into Premiere and we are not going to bring the proxy files in here. We're actually going to attach them to these original files. So I'm going to select all of my original files, right click on one of them. When you go to proxy, you're going to see that you can attach proxies right here. You also have this create proxies and you can see that I can choose the proxy settings and it'll even put it right next to the original in a proxy folder. So this is another way to create your proxies. I prefer to do it through media encoder where you have a little more control. So this is just a personal preference, but you can do it through here. What we're going to do though is right click on our media attach proxies. So when your attach proxies window opens, make sure you pay attention here to your match file properties. Remember, I made it a point to keep the file name the same, but our extension has changed. You don't want to turn that on because the extensions won't match. And the media start and tape name should be the same. But if you just check media file name, which should be the default. And then you want to relink others automatically and use media browser to attach files. These defaults are most likely what you're going to want. I'm going to click on attach and we're going to navigate to the proxy folder right here. And you can see up here, it says the movie file is C004. That's this one right here. Okay and it should attach all of them. And if you right click up here in your metadata columns, go to metadata display, and then here you have proxy. Now when I scroll over, you can see under proxy, it says attached. 
So if you remember, our movie files are 4K files. Let's say for this example, we're editing a 1080 project. So I'm going to create a new sequence and we'll just grab a 1080p 2398 project. And I'm just going to drop all of these movies in here. I'm not going to change. I'm going to keep the existing settings. So right now, this we're we're zoomed in on this clip and if i select them all i can right click and we'll just uh, set to frame size i know that we're looking at the original clip because i don't see the baked in logo i don't see the time code the, the name of the file and what you're going to want to do is add the toggle proxies icon to your toolbar here and you can do that by clicking on the button editor and look for this logo right here, Toggle Proxies. So now if I click on this, it'll turn blue and you can see we've got the LUT added, we've got the file name, the time code, and the client logo baked in. And that switches everything. All the files have been switched over. And then I can go right back with a click of the button. I recently worked on a project where they shot everything in Los Angeles. I was gonna be editing in Portland. They needed to get the files to me quickly. So they took the large files, made proxy files, which are gonna be smaller. I was able to download them over the internet quickly and easily and start editing. And then they were able to send me the huge files, the original footage on a hard drive. And I got that a few days later. So it was sort of a reverse of what we just did. You might run into the exact same situation. So in this case, I'm going to import the proxy files first. Let's imagine that I do not have the originals. I download these over the internet. And I'll just say that this is my edit. You can see these are the proxy files. And notice when I click on this toggle proxies, it's not gonna do anything because these are not connected. If I scroll over here to that column that we were looking at proxy so there's nothing happening there and notice that all of these files here say .mp4 so after we do this process you're going to see that they automatically switch over to .move because we're going to be connecting the full res media right click go back down to proxy and you're going to say reconnect full res media Go to attach and navigate to the original clips. So we're basically doing the same thing, but instead of saying attach, we're saying reconnect full res media, hit OK. And now when we go over to our proxy column, we've got attached and notice here it says dot move, whereas before it said dot MP4. Now, if I look up here, in the window, we can see that we've got the, it's definitely looking at the proxy footage with the logo and the time code. And then if I turn off the toggle proxies, there's our original footage. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Please subscribe and like it if you like it. Let me know if you have had any proxy creating nightmares in the comments below.